Welcome to Just Drive It with Stephen Holtz. Um, I guess today you see us standing in front of the fair lane and we're going to do an update on what's going on there. I've got quite a few responses to the video on which car to take to the No Name Nationals. But what we're actually going to be doing is I also looked at some friends of mine that got us all started on this which are on for a bodies only and based on that everybody seems to want to see this car versus my Mopars now I do have a few extra plan B and C and stuff like that but basically from here it looks like this is what we're going to try to bring to the no-name nationals the plan B would be the 67 Fastback. Plan C would be the 67 Coronet. Now, more than likely, all three of those cars will be running by the time this comes around. But we'll give you a little bit of history on this car here. Uh, maybe even get our little call out done here. And we'll see how everything goes. So, let's continue. Okay, what we have here is a 1968 Ford Fairlane 500. This is an actual Fairlane, it's not a Torino. Torino was a package, and if you saw down the hill from the other one, I actually have an actual Torino, but it's a Fastback GT. You could get the Torino in this body style as well, which is the formal roof, but this is an actual Fairlane 500. So if we want to come up here and look, what we have in this car, and even though it doesn't look that pretty at the moment, is a 351 Windsor out of a van, stock piston, stock bottom end. Normally the cylinder heads that were on it would put it at a 64cc combustion chamber. The heads that are on these are actually, originally they were Pro Comp, now they're Speedmaster, they're Dart knockoffs, cast iron heads, 194 intake, 16 exhaust, got a really good swirl chamber on them, and with it being 58 cc's, with the pistons that are in there, would put the engine right about 9.8, 9.9 to 1 compression ratio. Intake is a knockoff of the Performer RPM, and it does have a Ford Motorsports roller cam in there, which is a B303 cam. I don't remember the specs right off the top of my head, but that's what's in it. Backing it at the moment is a C6 automatic transmission. Came out of the same van. However, in order to do this, I would like to put a different transmission in there. I'm actually looking at putting a C C4 in here. More than likely what will end up happening is we will go through, convert the 67 Fastback Mustang over to the 5 speed like I plan on and then we're going to take the C4 out of it and put it in here with a different converter okay really is not much to say about this car dash needs some work I have pure 15 over the entire floor of this car where it was rusty before it's been done it's got dynamat in the floor actually not that bad it does have headers but we're working on that history behind this car is gonna be I don't know quite a few years ago mid to early 2000s say 2004 ish we took in uh, I was driving down the road noticed this car for sale knew that it was a fair lane pulled in because it had a make offer sign on it so I went over there and I made an offer I, I talked to the guy I said look I don't want to insult you so just make an offer he said I've got other projects I just need to get rid of it it's got a title no engine no transmission well I offered him $400 guess what he took it I was totally shocked $400 for it actually not a bad car Picked it up, put a different engine in it, but that engine ended up coming out and going somewhere else. Ended up putting in this 351 Windsor. Wanted to see what it'd do. 
I actually have a Granada disc swap on the front. Hmm. On the back, I put an Expedition disc brake setup, and it's actually set up for four-wheel disc brakes. Uh, initially, I was planning on doing more of a autocross type theme with the car, but we'll see. It'll end up getting slot mags in place of the steelies because that's kind of the vision I had for the car originally. But that's kind of the history of this car. This car has been around a little bit. I just never have finished it. It will drive. It will start up. If y'all noticed there wasn't a radiator, I have a radiator for it. So that's not a problem either. Main thing for this thing is just to get everything sorted out and get everything put into place. So we'll move on to our next portion. As the younger one said, ready player one. Well, in this case, time for the fun. Dark Freak 75. I'm gonna try to call you out right here for No Name Nationals. One of the group that is on 4A Bodies Only that we've actually been talking about this for a while. One of the ones who kinda got me jazzed up to do this again. And, Funny as it may seem, because I'm going to out him right here, he's also a closet Fairlane, specifically this style body, and Torino lover. <laughs> that ought to be a fun one. Anyways, I'm calling you out. We can do heads up if you want to. We can do bracket with a dial in. I think we'll probably just wait and see when we get down there to see how close we're both running as far as uh, get a couple passes in and get everything set up. But should be a fun race. I hope you accept. Now that you're out in the open, maybe you can buy yourself one of these. I guess that'll be it for now. Waiting for your reply.